Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk a little bit about the right way to brush your teeth. Some people think, well, there's only one way to brush your teeth, one right way. Well, that really isn't true. A lot of the brushing depends on the type of gum tissue you have. So we have a lot of patients who come here because they have gum recession and we correct that gum recession using the pinhole technique. But for people who have thin gum tissue or have gum recession or a tendency towards gum recession, regular brushing is not necessarily the right way to brush. For those type of situations, instead of scrubbing like you would like this, one would brush up on the lower teeth and down on the upper teeth because you don't want to scrub too hard because that tissue is thin, delicate, and has a tendency to recede. And if you brush too vigorously, uh, you can actually cause more recession. So one has to be careful if the tissue is thin or if you've had gum recession. Also, if your gum tissue is thin and you're using an electric brush, which we don't necessarily recommend for thin gum tissue or people who have recession, if you're using an electric brush, do not hold the brush like you would normally hold it. If you have recession, hold the brush with two fingers like this because you'll put less pressure on your gum tissue if you hold it like this. So if you have thin tissue or recession, it's all about cleaning but minimizing the pressure or the roughness or the trauma to the gum tissue so one has to be gentle. On the other hand for normal brushing a soft brush just in a slight rotating motion something like this is a good way to brush spending about two minutes total time brushing with the average brush. When you're brushing for normal healthy gums the bristle should be directed slightly down under the gum tissue, but not for recession. For recession, you're just trying to bring that sort of gum tissue up or bring that gum tissue down. I wouldn't brush more than twice a day for two minutes each time, and particularly if you have gum recession, you have to minimize any excess brushing. On the other hand, I just saw a patient, as a matter of fact, a few minutes ago, who was taking something called Norvasc or amlodipine for high blood pressure. Many patients who take Norvasc or amlodipine or other medications like Dilantin have excess gum tissue. They have swollen gum tissue. The tissue is enlarged. And so for those people, I very often recommend vigorous brushing, vigorous frequent brushing, and maybe even not a soft toothbrush, but a firmer toothbrush, because you want to try to minimize that swollen gum tissue. You want to try to bring it down, and soft, gentle brushing isn't going to do that. But if you brush vigorously with a firm toothbrush, you have a better chance of keeping that swollen tissue to a minimum, or at least minimizing its growth. So depending on the type of gum tissue you have, is a major factor in the kind of brushing that you do. So there isn't really one type of toothbrushing that I think is good for everybody. Everybody's mouth is different and everybody may require a different type of toothbrush and a different technique for brushing. In order to help determine what might be the best brushing method for you, check with your dentist, your dental professional. They can guide you. How do you know when you need a new toothbrush? Typically, about three months or so, the average toothbrush starts to fray a little bit, or bristles start to fray, and when that's happening, that's time for a new toothbrush. Keep your mouth healthy, keep it clean. If your mouth isn't healthy, you're not gonna be healthy. We'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most importantly, have a good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.